Hey everyone, it's Welland, and we're playing Fran Bo today. I played Little Misfortune last month, and now it's October, the month of Halloween and scary video games, so I figured, hey, this is probably a good time for me to go back to Fran Bo. If you aren't aware, these two games are set in the same universe, and since I played Little Misfortune first, I'm probably going to make references to that as I'm playing along, so just a word of warning here. Uh, as far as I know, both of these games are about girls around creepy stuff. I'm not responsible for any nightmares you get if you watch this right before you go to sleep. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Whoa. This is kind of scary already. <laughs> I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, the kitty is so cute. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh! A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom! Screaming! I want to know what's wrong! A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. <gasps> Mom? Dad? Please don't... <gasps> Mommy? Daddy? <gasps> what? Oh my god! What happened to Aunt Grace? Oh... All I've got is me and my kitty. Oh no! Oh! The cat! Don't forget the cat! Friend, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Friend, how do you feel? That was a nightmare? Uh, judging by my nightmare... I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Yes. I'll try, doctor. That's a positive attitude. I'm not crazy. It is? Maybe I'm not crazy at all. We do not use the word crazy here. But now, I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh... This guy's... 
like a psychologist or a therapist or something. But I dreamt about all that because it was real, right? It's not that it was just a dream, but I'm having PTSD-esque flashbacks about it. This was my mother's purse. Oh. Open it. There is something inside. Lost and found. Ooh. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking of you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget, creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace, the tutorial. <laughs> she is worried about you. I'm worried about me too. I'm worried too, because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it. You are out of control, young lady. What? How am I... <sighs> can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it will make you very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Visions? Oh, I see. Here, friend. Take your medicine. D do I have to? We don't have all day, friend. Take the pills, now. Aren't psychologists and therapists supposed to be nice? These people sound really forceful. Like, what? How old am I? I'm like, what? Under 10? So yeah, okay. Little Misfortune, Franbo, both about little girls. Shut up, therapist. I'm talking here, okay? Both about little girls in unfortunate situations. Uh, well, at least your name is not Little Misfortune. What? Oh my god, what even was that? I don't feel good. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh no! Take her back to her room! And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Wasn't that supposed to be relaxing or something? What the heck? Beware, Franbo. That looks a lot like Morgo from Little Misfortune. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran? Wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter 1, My Sober Day Sober in the context of a little kid? Are you talking about medicine? Okay, uh, I don't like that. Okay, it looks like we're in a hospital right now. But this hospital has some kind of religious leaning. I'm assuming it's a hospital because we had that doctor guy earlier, but what the hell is this? Brain. Is that like me thinking it? Oh, I'm still here in this place. I have to get out of here. We're trying to get out because we had a vision that the kitty, Mr. Midnight, told me to go meet him in the forest. Okay. Jesus, what the hell are these eyeballs? Oh, oh okay, okay. Other screens? All right. 
Red and tiny you are hiding from me. Kitty? The pills? I hate the monster. It's in the same universe as Little Misfortune, right? So this monster... may be related to the one that we saw there. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. But the medicine is not good for me. Because it makes me see dead bodies and stuff. Even the doctors were saying it's bad for me. I don't want to. I just woke up. It's like she's staring right at me when she's saying that. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10, gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Oh god. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. This is from 1944, July 25th. Okay. Uh. Locked. Good reason to get curious. So we have to open it later on. I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Oh. Uh, this is- this might not be a hospital. Is it... an asylum, maybe? Because apparently Fran is suffering from- Fran, right? Her first name is Fran. Psychosis. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time, la la la. It does the same as before, huh? Okay. Are there other kinds of dialogue here? No. Some of them have it, some of them don't. We don't really have a map of this place either. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Okay. So, this one's a more traditional kind of point and click. We have to combine items and stuff. Alright. There are other kids here, too. Who also have a cross. Oh, oh, a secret box! Shh. A key! This will certainly open something. The drawer. Examine. A tiny little key. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. <laughs> the, the thought process behind the dialogue is a bit like disjointed because normally an adult would be like oh no i'm sorry to hear that you're not sick but fran could possibly just be like i have to find my kitty now bye but no let's respond to him they're just stupid they always say that are you leaving tonight mm, i will if you help me the only thing i know is that the office is the key Okay, there's a key inside? The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? The doctor. Him. Oh! Uh. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. <laughs> Leave me 
me alone! I hate you! Oh, I hate how scary that really was, but, um... Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Oh, poor girl, friend. That was a little bit comical, though, because, like, this random monster came out of nowhere being like, I will keep you here for all of eternity. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. Bye. <laughs> oh. No! I won't let that monster stop me. What about you, though, kid? Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Okay. I hope somebody loves you. Hmm. That's not... That's kind of an odd thing for a kid to be thinking, right? Almost as if she feels unloved and she needs loving herself. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. I think we saw this doll back in Little Misfortune, right? Maybe by the train station or something? Fillmore Bronstone, age 8, gender male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Uh, is this hereditary? Because he's very, very young. And I wonder if that's really like an environmental thing or was it genetics? Because it seems like it should be genetics here. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. April 6th. So this guy's been in here for longer than me. This kid. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw! If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of doing anything? To be seated or not be seated, that is the question. If you do anything, you'll eventually do the opposite of it. Like, why make your bed? Why eat if you'll just go hungry? Of course it's locked. Still locked. If I were bigger, I could take it down. Oh, what's on her back? Those belts. Uh, is that just her fashion or is that related to like... I don't know. Hmm. Well, hang in there, kid. I'll come back and... We'll go home together, all right? Let's just say that for now. Uh... Oh, oh! Oh, holy moly! Something fell! A handy hook! I'll save it to play pirate later. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. It seems a little bit sharp, but okay. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Do I really want to? Oh my god. <laughs> they have a freaking light tower here. Like it's a prison. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person named Fran. Or is it a defense tower? Um, I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. No, unfortunately. If you try squeezing a little bit, then maybe. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I have a key. Can you open the drawer? Yes, yes, I got it! And there's something inside. A photograph. Of me, mom, dad, and Aunt Grace, and Mr. Midnight. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. Why was this locked up? I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Yeah, so it's not just a dream. It really did happen. Why is Aunt Grace not taking care of me? 
Usually, if the parents pass away, wouldn't the next kin be the one responsible? Or maybe she doesn't want to be, because raising a kid is a big thing. I don't know, but I wish she would at least visit me. My hair clip! I should give it a good use. Maybe I can pick lock a door with this? But what's on this side? Ugh. My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. <laughs> she looks so sassy. Okay. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. What about up here? I can't see through this window. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Right, so our goal right now is to get the medicine, because Fran thinks that's what's gonna help her get out of here. Although, I don't know about that. Oh, we can see out this one. Ah, oh, the playground! Good night, trees and moon! I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Yeah, I wonder about this. Is that just part of the dress, or...? Because it kind of reminds me of a straitjacket. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. I'm fully expecting something to pop out of the freaking window. Oh, Fran, you're awake! Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Oh my god. Was it the medicine? That made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Something happened. Oh, I forgot! Something happened! See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? What? Why would the nurse say this to a patient? Mm. If I'm telling her about the currents, it's because I want her to walk away so I can see what she's writing, right? Or maybe find the medicine? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. I ain't following you. I'm curious, yes. But she's gone. She's gone. I better go and talk to her. Oh, come on, friend. You can... Come on, not now? Really? She would just go crazy if I touch anything. Oh. What about this window? Oh. Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Oh, that's a morbid thought. Okay. Okay, guess we gotta follow the nurse. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? <laughs> well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Haha, <laughs> she's gone now. Get out of here, old hag. The medicine is mine. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Ew. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Well, the other kid had paranoia too. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. 
Trauma is a word the doctors love to say. Or the one doctor, really. He? <laughs> that brain looks like a turtle. Hmm. I wonder how much of what we're seeing is really what's happening, though, because I find it hard to believe that the doctor and the nurses are really, like, so crappy. But... I don't know. They're kind of old, too. Maybe this is like a random asylum in the middle of nowhere? Because we know Fran's not doing well, so what we see might not necessarily be what's really happening. Is what I worry about. Nurse name Gladys something. Yeah, Gladys is kind of like an old person name. <laughs> the patient has... been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water. But I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been... She hasn't been... Something... For three days now. She hasn't been so... Sovial? What? I, I can't read this word. Some kids have come around and... Asked about her and when she would come and play. Duotine. 8H. The nurse's handwriting is awful. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, and duotine. Same. Yeah, well, I don't know what- I still can't read this word for some reason. It looks like cereal. <laughs> she hasn't been mm, for three days now. She hasn't been eating, she hasn't been awake for three days. Is this really a hospital? Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Ah, we gotta use the code here, right? What was the word on it? Hold on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. I think I got it. Hide. Wait, why would the code be hide? That's a little bit suspicious, isn't it? Tiny patches to cure wounds. Oh, she doesn't know the word for band-aid, maybe? Hmm. Hide. A, B, C, D. E? F? G? Wait, hold on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. The pills! Katie told me these would help me. Is that really... I don't know if that's a good idea. A kitty came to me in a vision, but I never... Hmm... Um... I haven't gone into the office yet. Can I pick this pin, by the way, or can I pick the lock? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. A hook? Ah, the shape is not right. So I need another pin, maybe? Hmm. Should I just try using the pills? Whoa! To happiness, you can see. Whenever we take the pills, this is what happens? Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Oh, I didn't even notice! The freaking kid! See, he looks a little bit off. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird! Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? Fran is like not phased by this at all. He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Ugh. She's not scared. At least I'm not getting that impression. Ugh. 
Whoa! Hello? Oh no, your head! <laughs> Sorry, I know that wasn't supposed to be funny. But <laughs> I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Can I have your head then? Is that too morbid? Okay. Okay. To happiness. Still locked. And I still only have a hairpin. Yeah. How long does this effect last for? What? It was not me. <gasps> Who did it? We don't really know what happened that night. My parents died, but how or why? It really brutally too, according to our visions. They were dismembered. Can you not stand next to the- Oh my god. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. It looks like he escaped from the painting. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Uh... How come you guys have different noses? Oh! Is that my head? Give me my head back, please! Just go away, you weird creatures! Well, I'm glad one of us is not scared by this. We didn't see this one, though. Yeah, like, when we lean in here, we don't see that specific one. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay. The drawer is empty. Sweet melody. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up! Please, Bunny, just wake up. Hmm. These look like... roots? From a tree, maybe? Hello, nurse. Oh, god, there's multiple nurses. Watch your step. Thank you, I will. Thank you for the warning. Do I have to be aware of, like, how many pills I take and stuff? Like, is that a thing? Oh, hello. Are you alright? Hello? Huh. It's like she doesn't realize or she's not registering that they're dead. Even though she understands the concept of death, because she knows that her parents died. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Just a tad. My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Hmm. Do we have a new nurse here? Get out, creepy creature! What are you? Huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Is this like a manifestation of my psychosis? Oh, dear lord. There's a freaking handprint here. Was I here before? I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Yeah, okay. Uh, in the real world, there was another window here, right? But it's gone now. Okay, if you're gonna hog up the seat, I guess I gotta go. Excuse me, lady nurse. This may be very useful. Oh, thank you. Do I want to go down? I can get out of here now. I got the pin. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. Aunt Grace! But she has to know! You can't keep me away from her! The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not! I want to take her home, now! You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh, she does want to take me home. But I gotta get better first. Uh... Was that real? Oh... Dear Aunt Grace, I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. 
Ooh. Oh no! Benjamin! Don't cry! Oh! Use my hand as a tissue! Would you like a hug? Boxy, why are you so sad? Oh god. Benjamin was the fox in Little Misfortune, of course. It was not me, what does that mean? Like somebody is saying that they're not the murderer? Okay, that's lovely. End him. Huh. Somebody has been playing with my notes. But the way they- the things they write and draw seem like a little kid. Hmm. Can we please get out of here? I can't take more pills. How do I get back to normal? Is that even possible? Almost. But there is another hole. I'll need something else. It fits! But there's two holes! I need something- Oh, do you want me to, like, combine it first? There we go. Oh, fantastic! My very own special key. That actually has three prongs. Yes! To happiness! Hello! What was that?